Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be filming this easy Valentine's Day glam makeup look. I really wanted to do like a very pink monochromatic look for Valentine's Day, but also make it easy to recreate and not use a ton of products. That way you guys can recreate this look yourselves. So let's just get on in with the video. First, I'm starting with the P. Louise Eye Base, and then I'm going in with the Morphe X James Charles Palette. I'm taking the shade Pinkity Drinkity right into the crease with a Morphe M441. And since this shade is really light, I'm just packing it on a lot. And then I'm really working it into the eyebrow in the inner corner and really blowing it out on the outer edge as well. Next, I'm taking the Too Faced Tutti Fruity blush in the shade Strawberry, and I'm taking the darker half, and I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow um, and just work this into my crease. I'm using a Morphe M433, so it's a little denser of a blending brush, and just really building this color into the outer corner and into the crease. And then I'm just going in with the last shade and brush and just really blending it and blowing it all out. Then I'm taking the white shade from the James Charles palette and I'm just using that to highlight my brow bone since I was really messy with the pinkity drinkity shade. Now I'm taking the Huda Beauty New Nude palette and I'm going in with the shade Tickle on a smaller Morphe blending brush and I'm just going to use this to further deepen everything up. Then I'm going back in with the P. Louise base and I'm going to use this to do a half cut crease. Now I'm taking the shade Daydream in the Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to use this all over the lid where I just cut the crease. And then I'm just taking the shade Tickle and blending the two shades together in the outer corner. And then I decided to take the shade Fantasy and just press a little bit of that on the center of the lid. And then I'm taking my Luxie 237, which is honestly like the perfect brush for this because it's really tiny and it's synthetic bristles. And I'm just using this to kind of diffuse that cut crease and blend out those shimmer shades a little bit. This will give like a really nice look because the cut crease opens the lid up, but then it's still diffused so it's not a um like clean cut line if that makes sense now for the face i'm starting off with my tatcha the silk canvas primer for foundation today i'm taking the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation and i'm just going to buff that into my skin i know this looks like extremely orange and darker on me but honestly it doesn't look like that in person and by the time I'm done with it, it matches me really well. Then I'm taking the Becca Brightening Under Eye Corrector and I'm using this to correct my under eyes. This is one of my all time favorite products. It just really helps brighten the under eyes, smooth the under eyes out, and I feel like it even helps my concealer wear better and not crease. And I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I'm using this to conceal my under eyes and also on my T-zone. Anywhere where I want to highlight or add more coverage. And then I'm just taking my Tarte Beauty Sponge and using that to blend all of this out. Then I'm taking the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This is the translucent one and I'm using that to set my face. I don't really bake. I more so am just pressing the powder into my skin with a sponge. And this was my first time trying this powder and I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it didn't give me flashback or lighten my foundation or concealer at all. So I am just doing this everywhere where I put the concealer. To set the rest of my face, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury, I don't even know what this is called. It's the foundation or like setting powder. I have the shade medium and I'm just using this to set everywhere else that I didn't set with the ColourPop powder. Now to finish off the eyes, this is normally the routine I like to do my makeup in, so I'll do my eyes, do part of my face, set everything, and then go back to the eyes. So first, I'm just taking 
um, a clean Luxie 237 brush. I'm taking the pinky drinky shade and just buffing that on my lower lash line and also blending it out and making sure it's connected in the outer corner since we really blew out the shadow on the top. Then I'm just taking the blush shade that I used and just putting this on the lower lash line too. Also connecting it in the outer corner. I didn't want the lower lash line to be too dark or smoky so I'm just using these two shades to pull everything together. And then I'm taking the Stila Micro Tip Black Liquid Liner and I'm using this to do a wing and I also do it in my inner corner as well. Um, but if you're recreating this look, I'd recommend doing that at the end because when I did my inner corner highlight, I covered it and then I had to redo it. So if you don't want to do it twice, I would just wait to do it till the end. I'm also putting on some Ardell Wispy Lashes and I used a NYX Baby Pink Eyeliner on my waterline, but I do both of those off the camera. So I literally just got this in the mail as I was filming this video, so I decided to use it for the first time. This is the Sephora Collection collaboration with Olivia Jade. So first I'm going in with a bronzer and using that to bronze up my face. Honestly, I really liked the bronzer. If you're my skin tone or darker, it would work really well for you, but if you're any fairer than me, it's gonna be way too dark of a bronzer for you. I definitely had to really blend it out, and I do end up diffusing it a little bit with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Um, but other than that, I thought it looked really beautiful on the skin. Now I'm taking my trusty Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette, and I'm taking my contour shade, which I believe is Princess Cut, I'm using that to contour my nose and contour my face a little bit. Then I'm taking the KKW Beauty Brighten 3 powder. And I'm using this to clean my contour up. You could also use the banana powder that's in the Tarte palette. Um, mine is just really low and hard to pick up on a sponge now, so I've been using the KKW one. Um, but both are great, so if you have the palette, I would just use the banana one that's in there. Then I just let that sit. I usually will clean up my brows at this point, and after a few minutes, I just go ahead and blend it all out. I don't have any new product on this brush. It's just the same brush that I've been using with that Charlotte Tilbury powder. Now I'm going back to that Too Faced 2D Fruity Blush, but this time I'm using it on my face as actual blush. I'm using both sides, or both colors in it, and I'm just blending that onto my cheeks. I didn't feel like that shade was enough, so I'm taking the pink from the James Charles palette and just adding that on top. I'm pretty messy with it, also trying to like blend it in the shadow and the outer corner. Then I'm going back in with the Olivia Jade palette and I'm using these two shades to highlight. This is the second shade that I pointed to, the bottom row highlighter. And honestly, this shade is so stunning. I used it on top of my cheekbones, on my brow bone, and then I also take it into my inner corner. I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb and I'm going to use this to highlight even more because you just can't have too much highlight. So I'm putting this just on top of my cheekbones, also bringing it in to um, my brow bone highlight. I really like the messy look that it gives. Then I'm going in with the Buxom Lip Liner in Dolly Danger, I think is the shade, and using this to line my lips. <music> Next, I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Libra and just putting this on my lips and then I'm going to take the lip liner and blend the two together to get a really pretty ombre. Mm -hmm. And you can leave it how it is or I'm just going to top it off with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Buffy. And last but not least, I'm going to set my face with the Max Fix Plus Gold Light Spray, and then I just press that in with my beauty sponge. 
and this is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!